Oh, she came! Bless! Alright, let's have a real fight. Ah. Damn. Damn. Oh. I'm gonna die. Ah, oh, crap. Bro! I would have had the kill! Why are you jumping in? She w Yo! Y'all know I would she was she would have died right there! What's good y'all? Today we are doing a rant video. And I know we don't do those often. We don't do this at all. Forget about often. This is the first time I'm ever making a rant video. You know, I've never done this before. I got no script. I'm completely just freelancing this, improvised, and I'm just saying whatever the hell is in my mind right now. No joke. I don't even know how to write a script. I'm just talking. You know what I'm saying? I'm just putting my input out there for y'all to listen. Okay, so you all probably clicked on this video because you guys probably play Jujutsu Shenanigans. If so, that's cool. I do too. I play on console. That's why I use the lock on. Don't judge me. And if you do, I don't really care because I'm going to continue using it anyways and I'm going to probably like I'm, I'm, I play on console we need the lock on we need this leg up okay we need the handicap look now imagine this right it's a Saturday or a Friday or whatever you're trying to hop on Jiu Jitsu shenanigans you know maybe with your friends or whatever you're just trying to play by yourself because you're lonely and then you're in the middle of a fight with somebody right and you're in the, you're about to beat this nigga like you're, you're like you about you about to beat this nigga's ass like it's it's an intense fight too and then all of a sudden, two, three, four other people just jump in out of nowhere and just start beating your ass and you just die and you completely don't even get that kill that you were literally working your ass off to get. The point is, I hate teamers, okay? I'm sorry. Bro, I don't understand how you could play this game, team on someone, and just feel good about it or like just do that in general just do it for i mean i understand if you want to do it for fun you know what i'm saying you want to have a little laugh with your boys you know what i'm saying run around kill people team on them trust me i get it i understand that it could be fun at times but like when you do there's like a certain level or like a certain point where you just need to like just stop for the moment okay because sometimes i'd be seeing these teamers take it to the next level because sometimes they be tryhards too and they're and they're teaming on you with another person when you know damn well you're capable of doing it by yourself but sometimes they're actually garbage and they're teaming on you and they're feeling nice when they beat your ass and honestly those are the ones that tick me off the most anyways yeah i just don't like i don't understand you know anytime i see someone getting teamed on me personally i don't know if other people like to do this but when i see someone getting teamed on I like to jump in and help the person out, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't just like to watch him get teamed on by himself and, like, not try to help or anything. I just feel like that's just kind of messed up at times. I know it's just a video game at the end of the day, but I'm telling you, sometimes these teamers be taking it to the next level. Like, to the next level that it's not, like, come on, bro, like, you don't need to do all that. Like, you do you really need four niggas or three extra niggas okay you're fighting one you're fighting one guy by yourself whatever and then his three homies pull up do you really need three extra niggas to take out one dude i'm just saying like that's like a pride thing to me like me i prefer to do it by myself even sometimes when i play with my friends they want to jump in on my fights and i tell them no because some of them like to team and i tell them that i'm not with that because i don't like to team because i don't like to get teamed on Okay, so why would I want to team on someone else? You get what I'm saying? Now, some people, they think it's funny. Da, 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 da. Maybe they want to troll or whatever the hell it is. Listen, if you want to do it and maybe like maybe you want to team, you teamed up on a guy, you killed him like once, twice, and then you stopped after and you just went to do it in on your ones. Okay, I guess that's okay. I guess whatever. But like when you're doing it the whole, like if you're in the server, right? And literally your whole goal, your only goal is to just keep killing this one dude over and over and over again. Anytime you see him, all your homies, y'all just start chasing after him. Like, at that point, is this even, like, a game anymore? Like, that shit ain't even funny, bro. At that point, what, 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 like, the joke's gotta stop at some point, right? The joke's only funny until you go so far with it, you know what I'm saying? The thing that I hate the most is when they, they do, like, stupid emotes. When they're bad at the game, and they do, like, an emote when they killed you after they teamed on you. Like, you only won that because you had your homie there to help you out. Me, I'm out here on my ones, always on my ones. Because I'm not gonna lie, majority of the time I usually game by myself. Especially when I'm making videos and stuff like that. I don't, once in a while I'll play with some friends, but it's not often, you know what I mean? But, you know, I just, I don't know, I just think it's annoying. It, it's a very common problem. But I wouldn't say it ruins your experience all the way. Because sometimes it's like, 
It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens enough to where you could definitely talk about it and say it's a problem. Honestly, I wish that because I've seen it so many times where people would just see someone getting teamed on and they would allow it, or sometimes a random, a complete random that has nothing to do with the situation at all would just jump into the fight just for the sake of it. I, I don't get why people do that too. It's weird. Like, why are you jumping into my fight, bruh? I'm already in a 1v1. Why are you jumping in? Like, they just want to steal your kill. I hate people that do that shit too. they just trying to come in at last second, steal the kill. Because it ever happened to you guys before? Like, your health is really low. It's like red, yellowish. No, not even yellowish, because they probably won't do it for that. Like, do people just start trying to kill you? Like, random people. Like, even though you're in a fight with someone else, like, randoms will try to jump in. Yeah, I hate when that shit happens, bro. It's annoying, bro. And honestly, if you team on people, in my opinion, I just think you just have no skill because like if you really have skill and you really have pride as a gamer you shouldn't need to team on someone in order to feel good in order to win but when people do that they really be thinking like oh wow i'm that nigga like no you're not that guy bro you're, you're just you're just teaming with your friends bro and it just it just shows that you're ass you know what i'm saying like it, it's just weird to me like how people think that like it, that's cool to do and i'm telling you some people really take it too far like they be chasing you down killing you with their friends emoting on you all of them the whole time you're playing the game it's just like bro like you can't even have fun you know what i'm saying because they're just chasing you down they just keep fighting you they're just being annoying and i don't like when they go for the noobs like people that you know are obviously bad at the game they would bully them i swear i see them get bullied all the time or like they would just go complete try hard on them i reminds me like the try hards also ruin the game too but you know what i'm not going to complain about that because honestly i'm not going to fault them for being really good at the game but there are times where they do be a little toxic with it but you know what it is what it is that just comes with gaming in general so i'm i can't really talk on that but damn bro it just it just really sucks sometimes times when you get teamed on especially me like i get teamed on so much when i play this game bro it's also look at my maharaga gameplay don't you can't lie i'm i'm low-key bro i was destroying the lobby i think this is the longest i've been in my maharaga mode for when too many people are using too many moves at the same time everyone's moves gets canceled out and it blasts away but the cooldown on that is just a bit too long like it takes a while for that cooldown to come back and it's just honestly ah having to deal with people teaming and stuff like it's just sometimes it could really ruin the fun of the game for some people i know it can and i know the teaming doesn't just happen in jiu-jitsu shenanigans teaming happens in all roblox battleground games i would say like that's like a trend in battleground games for people to just be teaming and stuff like that so i wouldn't say it's something that's out of this world like, i'm sure like y'all played like strongest battlegrounds heroes battlegrounds sorcerers battlegrounds oh, oh my god Sorcerer's Battlegrounds. I got teamed a lot in that game too. I don't I don't like Sorcerer's Battlegrounds. In my opinion, that game low-key fell off. I'm not gonna lie, I tell you, I actually used to hate no, I didn't hate Jujutsu shenanigans, but I just never got the the hype of it the first time I played it. I just thought I was like, eh, it's just another Roblox game, everyone going crazy. And then I actually started playing the game and I started realizing how dope the game was, and then I'm now, now I, I swear I'm like addicted to the game now. Like anytime I'm not playing Fruit Battlegrounds. I'll be playing this game, and I'm just like, damn, this shit is so fun. And then, boom, there goes the teamers getting teamed on and shit. But I remember one time, I think it was like two nights ago, I was literally playing, bro. And I kid you not, this group, right, of like four people or three, I don't remember how much. This this group was literally full on just chasing me around the whole entire city, bro. Like, I'm, I was fighting one of their friends, and all of them started chasing me around the city. It was so annoying, bro. I was trying my hardest to escape. Good thing I was playing with Megami. I, he has, like, two moves that helps you, like, escape. I remember I even went inside, like, that big gray building, you know, the one I'm talking about. I was going on the stairs, making my way up. And I'm thinking they're behind me, you know what I'm saying, inside the building, making their way up the stairs, too. Meanwhile, I make my as soon as I make my way to the top, to my surprise, all four of them are out there just waiting for me at the top. Bro, that shit literally jump scared me, and I'm just like, is this really how I go out? Like, do these niggas, like, do they really want me that bad? Like, is it, it was never that deep, you know what I mean? Like, this many niggas, four people, three, four people, all trying to kill this one guy, like, when one of you guys should be able to take me out just one alone should be enough there's no need for all of this you know what i'm saying like i just feel like sometimes people would just be doing too much but there's a time where like you know you want to do it for fun sometimes play around with your friends because you know it's a game so it's not real so you can do whatever you want pretty much i understand that completely okay i'm not gonna act like uh like i've never teamed before okay of course listen listen pause for a sec i have teamed before okay i'm just gonna put that out there because i'm pretty sure we've, we've all you know what i'm saying i'm pretty sure we've all done it at least once in our lives okay i'm not gonna act like i've never done it but 
I don't make it like a habit. Like I don't make it like a thing that I do all the time. Like, oh, let me team on this guy. Let me team. Let me see. And then just keep chasing that person down. Keep killing them. Keep chasing them. Keep killing them. Keep chasing them. Like, no, I don't like to do that. Like at some point, it just becomes very toxic when you're just constantly just keep killing that person. You and your friends just keep chasing them down. Keep killing. Some of my friends actually do that, and I don't like that. I just think it's kind of messed. I'm just like, bro, like just let the man breathe. Like I generally start to feel bad. I know it's just a game, but still, like someone is still playing that game. Some kid is still playing that game trying to have a good time too and not just just like you just like me just like all of us like you know what i'm saying so it's still kind of messed up for example if me and my friend were trying to he was trying to show me how to do a combo or something and some guy kept it being annoying he kept the jumping in he started attacking us and we'll keep trying to tell him that we're not trying to fight like you know try to put up some peace we'll you know we'll be spamming our block so he knows that yo yo we're on peaceful time right now you know what i'm saying no smoke no smoke and this dude will still keep jumping in out of nowhere when i'm trying to show him the combo he'll be trying to show me some combo he would just jump in and start attacking me or attacking my friend. So then we just decided to beat his ass up, okay? And then he kept on commenting and then we just kept on beating his ass up, okay? Now the reason I'm telling you this is because we didn't want to fight this guy. And he kept on coming back to fight us when he was just trying to simply show me something, okay? Now that, I feel like that's just different. I feel like that's low-key a little bit more justified, okay? Rather than you just going out of your way to just go team on someone and then you chase them down the moment you find them you keep you keep chasing them down and dancing on them like you know i find that's a lot more different all right now another thing i've actually killed teamers before like in groups of two not three i can't do a three that's crazy but groups of two i've actually done it before if they're bad enough you could you could definitely pull it off i promise and especially with megami because a lot of his moves are like you know you could just kind of do it from a distance i feel like megami is perfect for zoning i do it a lot when i'm about to die with megami i start like dashing back a little bit you know try to get some distance off and then throw out your rabbit escape and then your new way and you're good you know what i'm saying try to like dash back a bit and you could deal with them one by one it's, it's not that hard you just have to keep like you have to keep space between you and them and just keep attacking and you know make sure you don't rush into any of them because you're, you're gonna get cooked if you do any of that also look at this amazing gameplay look at this i remember i was getting like double teamed or so like and i was fighting against these two teamers bro and when i tell you they are ass i mean they are ass well i remember i killed one of them and then the uh the other one came and i was in the middle of beating his friend's ass right after okay i was in the middle of killing him he was on the verge of death he was like in the red and everything and then as i was about to kill him his teammate came back and then after that, I was fighting his teammate again, and then they killed me, and then they started emoting on me, and I'm like, bro, you guys are both ass. Because, like, I literally just proved that I'm better than both of these two, right? And they still have the audacity to dance on me after they killed me, after they teamed, after they both got their ass handed to me one by one. It's just crazy to me. I don't understand how you could play this game and feel good about teaming on people and think that you're actually good at the game when you do that like it's just i don't know it's just weird to me but that's just my take on it you know what i'm saying um i'm sure lots of people have definitely uh, struggled with teamers as well like not just in shenanigans but in roblox games like battleground games in general what type of person do you have to be to be like a teamer you know what i'm saying like it's just it's just very i don't know i feel like it's just very cruel gameplay maharaga versus maharaga how often do you see a Maharaga versus another Maharaga? Come on, come on now. That's that's fire. That's fire. I had to clip this and show it to y'all. Now maybe I'm maybe I'm just being a little extra or whatever, cause yeah, whatever it's a video game, Roblox, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, come on guys. Like you guys played a, a, a battlegrounds game before and you got teamed on like badly like these niggas were whooping your ass all chasing you down literally bullying you like at some point this shit isn't even like a game no more like i said like this shit is like assault this shit is straight up cyber bullying okay like this sh I, I, I literally feel violated sometimes by how i be getting teamed on by these niggas how are you actually emoting on me right now after you just you and your buddies literally chased me down across the whole map just for that one little kill. Let me know if you guys feel the same way. Hey, bro, you know, I'm getting back on that grind again. So watch out. It's going to be some more bangers coming your way. Also, let me know if you guys want to see any um, Jujutsu shenanigan videos. Because I, like I said, like from this video, I played a lot. Megami is my main. Itadori used to be my main. But not anymore because, I don't know, too many people play with Itadori. And uh, sometimes it's cool to be different. I know some people hate Megami. They think that he's the, probably the most annoying character. If you play with Megami... I'm not, I don't care what you guys say. Playing with Megami actually takes skill, okay? I know you're gonna say you just spam, but no, you're not just spamming. It only looks like a lot of Megami users are spamming because 
the 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 rabbit escape i swear y'all just be boosting it y'all see a bunch of rabbits coming at you which is only one move by the way y'all see a bunch of rabbits coming at you and like a big bird and all oh my god we're spamming like sir we only click two moves two moves it's not our fault that one of those moves spawns like 20 rabbits okay and like a big bird if you guys want to defeat a megami user you just have to close gap Okay, I don't know why I'm telling you my weakness because I main Mega Me, bro. Listen, if you have any pride as a gamer, as a gamer, you shouldn't need to rely on another person's skills to win. Okay, you should only need your own skills. And if your skills aren't good enough, clearly you're not good enough. So you need to get better.